Shalom, I'm back. Mainly back because I just spent 20 some odd minutes talking about marriage and didn't really hit the main point that I wanted to hit. And I think I was actually, I did mention the fact that I, I was watching a, a video and I heard a Israelite, he, he's a commandment keeping, God fearing, actual blood Israelite Hebrew, whom, you know, he, he knows his Bible, right? Uh, and he got a grip of followers. He probably got more followers than than anybody that that I actually have a subscription to, you know, I don't really have that many, I don't follow that many people on YouTube, but he's one of them I do. Anyway, uh, and he goes in on marriage all the time and he was saying something along the lines of, uh, you know, here in America, none of these women are, are actually wives. They're all concubines. And his reason for that is because, let's be real, most most women here uh, are not virgins when they're married. So he he's saying that you can only only be a wife if you've only been with your husband and nobody else. And that's just not true. Uh, a concubine is still a wife, but it's just it's a slave wife. It's a wife that was a servant. Uh, whether you know whether you got the servant for your for your wife or or whatever, but you know it's not a sex slave. That's not what I said. It is a slave whom became a wife for whatever reason. You know, it could be she was specifically you know married. Uh, because of that or maybe somebody paid a debt with her or uh, like we have the cases of, of Rachel and Leah where they were given handmaidens when they were married right so that's all I, I just wanted to say that that all of this nonsense about uh if a woman's not a virgin, she's not a wife, she's just a concubine, okay? Let's look at Yahawashai when he was telling the woman, you've had all these other husbands, and the one that you're married to now is not your husband. We have uh, uh, my goodness, I lost my train of thought, but it, I suppose it wasn't that important because I already got the important part out. A concubine is just a wife that is also a slave, right? Doesn't mean she gets treated bad. It doesn't mean that she's not to be respected, any of that, right? And a concubine can be a virgin. She could be somebody who has never known a man and then she gets married and she's still considered a concubine because she was a slave is a slave, however you want to term it, right? And a slave doesn't have to be a bad thing. Like, we're all supposedly bond servants to Yahawashai, right? So there's nothing wrong with being a servant. I pride myself in being a servant. This is what I do every day when I go to work. I'm out here serving the man, you know? But it's a little bit different because I don't do it with quite as a happy heart as, as I do for Christ right? I'm happy to be his servant. It's an honor to be his servant. Uh, and then the other thing I just can't reiterate enough, like that does not mean that I'm, I'm cool with hoes. Like whoredom is abominable in Israel, right? We've all, not all, but a lot of us have, have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God but when I say we've all we've all fallen into this you know because most of us here in America have like most of us were were not raised with any real morals uh, much less 
obeying the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High God, right? So, so yeah. Anyway, my my point about that is 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 you can be forgiven, and you must repent. And repent means to turn, to turn your heart away from that sin. You don't just say, "I'm sorry, baby Jesus," and now you're all cool. That's not how it works, right? You have to put that sin as far away from your heart as east is to west right now that doesn't mean you don't have temptation temptation from what i can see is is something that we deal with in this life and that that never goes away you know maybe some of it gets easier maybe certain temptations go away uh over time but we are going to be tried. We are going to be tempted, right? The, the important thing is, is how we react to that, right? So if one has truly repented, if one has truly turned from their sin, they are no longer a whore, right? And they can almost be as clean as a virgin, you know, spiritually. Uh, but that comes through repentance, you know, confession, and and actually turning away from your sin, right? So once that happens, then cool, like you're you're good now. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't be forgiven. We don't go out and sin once we know that that we're not to do something. But what you did in the past is your past, and leave it back there. You know, you actually have to turn away from it, and then you can be. You can be an advocate for the Most High's love and forgiveness through Yahawashai, right? But just remember that you're special. Like every single woman in Israel like is a special gift that the other nations are still jealous of, even at our fallen state. So, I'm getting to be long-winded about something that should have taken 30 seconds. A concubine is just a wife that is a slave. She's still entitled to everything that a wife gets. She still deserves respect. It is nothing to be ashamed of. And don't think that just because you sinned in the past... Obviously, I'm speaking to the women here, which I guess technically I shouldn't even be doing. But I'm not sure how to work that one around because it's it's so important that these women understand that they are a prize, that that they're they are to still become women still become wives still become mothers and I'll be damned if there's a woman in Israel that should feel lesser than anyway I'm gonna stop because I'm, I'm just gonna keep talking in circles